I think more than seven vaccines that have been in, approved for emergency use. And some of these vaccines have been bought out by countries that have more money. The good thing about the J&J vaccine or the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is that it could be stored in a fridge, literally like the fridge that's in your house. It's stored between two to eight degrees Celsius. Other vaccines need super, super cold storage. The Pfizer vaccine requires storage at negative 70 degrees Celsius. So basically this can only be achieved if you have a super cold free freezer or you have a liquid nitrogen capacity. Other vaccines can be stored efficiently at a deep freezer temperature, which is roughly around minus 14. Personally, as much I was, as I would love to South Africa to um, have access to the Pfizer vaccine, logistically wise, I don't think it's feasible for the country because not many places, especially in rural centers, have liquid nitrogen storage or super cold storage. Logistically wise, I think we're pretty good with J&J. &J. We can store it in a fridge and most places, including rural clinical centers, have fridges because we store other vaccines. In December, the government were like, yes, we've secured Oxford AstraZeneca. We have a million doses and we're ready to roll it out. On the side, scientists were like, actually, would this vaccine work against the variant we have? The efficacy level of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine dropped to 22% which meant that only two out of 10 people were protected from getting infected. Meaning that actually, it's actually not worth it for South Africa to give out the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. That's why they ended up choosing the JNJ &J vaccine because it had a higher efficacy level of 57% and also showed that it protected eight out of 10 people from actually getting severe COVID-19.